referring back to earlier, I want to show you something. Bear with me, tripod's not out and I'm not getting it out. So we'll just reboot it that way. Look at that. It recognises it's not a system disc. So you know what I'm thinking? My boot disc is bad. Looks like some more eBay is required, but still, this is better than the drive being bad. My cleaning efforts might have actually been for something and not vain. Yep, all lubricated. This thing is no longer squeaky. They sound more like they should when they were new. Shame about the other disc, though. I'll have to acquire some more DOS boot discs. Update log 15,000 billion and three. We have just tried it with a known working drive. These actually work in 720k mode with these machines. And a known working disc, which is a boot disc, plugged in with a known working cable. And we have the same result. I suspect Mr. Floppy Interface Card is our next suspect. To, uh, try. There are some 74 whatever they are LS244 chips on there. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? More component replacements. Yay. Oh well. More progress. Yay. Ah, there's always solutions. Yep, cassette fake sick. Created using, well, my PC linked to my hi-fi and VLC. Pumping out audio at a very high rate into the hi-fi. And we're using good old trusty here. Because my 1980s one is basically a pile of junk. It's dead again. Mechanical failure this time. Oh, stop. And we have our diagnostics, which is what I want to show you. So, is the list correct? Yes, that is currently what is installed. Ah, oh, I don't just love it when these things fail to focus. Right. There we go, because I want you to see it, so you guys can perhaps provide things. Yes, it is. Zero. And we're going to show you the memory, which we know we have problems with, which comes out at that 200. I don't know what that means. Is that an error code? I haven't found any documentation on the uh, error tape yet. I wish I could find a version of DOS on tape, actually, because this seems to be a very successful method of doing it. Right. Now we want to go back to zero. No, not 90. Zero. That's my crap of fingers. And this is an interesting thing. Perhaps someone can spread some light on. Diskette testing. Even though there's actually a disk in the drive, no diskette testing was performed. Why? Hmm. I'm suspecting the... Uh, Either the diskettes can't communicate with the card, or the card can't communicate with the computer, or it could be a combination of the two. Now we go to 9. And despite a disk in there, not really doing a lot with it, is it? No. So we are going to leave that there for now, upload it, and uh, basically see if the internet's got any really nice good suggestions, because some of you have. I mean, Ash has been instrumental in providing useful advice. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll get it talking to the disk drives at some point. Hopefully not in the too far future.
we've got it this far and we've got a cassette diagnostic maybe those of you who know how it works can uh, give, link me to instructions or whatever thanks for watching